And welcome back to Therapist. Today, we have Harry Jowsey. He just announced his new podcast, Boyfriend Material, with the Unwell Network. So, yay for him. We are so, so excited. Now that we have that out of the way, let me tell you about what happened to me this past week. Because I've been just patiently waiting. I met a guy at an after party last March, so almost a year ago. We followed each other on Instagram. I'm like, okay, like, we're flirting, like, whatever. And then I kept seeing him. I kept seeing him. We kept flirting. We kept DMing. We kept kind of texting, trying to make plans. It never happened. Whatever. (laughs) Finally, this trip in New York, he's like, do you want to hang out? I'm like, I am there. Like, you know, like, I'm fucking desperate as can be. Like, I am there. So I'm leaving the Tommy Hilfiger fashion show, which was like my first fashion show. But I, I was dressed in denim denim. Right? I was dressed in denim on denim. Let's start here. He sends me the drink place we're going to. Drink location. Perfect. Want to meet here at 930? And I said, perfect. Let me change from my show wear. Ha, 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 ha. And he said, ha, 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 ha. Did you walk the runway? And I said, no. I'll show you videos, though. I'm in head-to-toe denim. And he said, hot. So I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe I don't have to change. Like, I hearted the message. And I said, okay, fine, I'm coming in my outfit. And then we got there, okay? Like, and then he's like, okay, I'm going to get there a little, whatever. I get there. We're talking. I'm like, oh, my God, like, what are the vibes? What are the vibes? We finish a drink, and then I'm, like, talking about my day, and I reference, like, what we're doing as a date. I'm like, and then I came to this date and whatever, da-da-da-da. And he goes, oh, (laughs) I'm going to stop you right there. And he he was like, what would he say? He was a little nicer than that. The whole thing wasn't nice, though, so I'm not going to give him credit. He was like, ooh, um, I just want to – he stopped me in my tracks. He stopped me in my tracks and goes, I just want to be fully transparent. Um, I don't want to hook up with you. <laughs> I said, oh, got it. Um, Okay. And then he, like, kept explaining it. Like, it's not – like, I'm just – you know, it's hard in the gay world. I'm like, no, no, no. For sure. But, like, we had been talking for a year, so I'm just, like, definitely a little confused, but, like, I'll let it ride. And I'm like, no, 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 totally, like, whatever. I'm like, honestly, like, I'm, I'm not trying to impress him anymore. Like, I'm just going to talk about myself. Like, that's what I'm going to do. So I start talking about myself. I'm like, oh, my God, like, I can't believe I'm going on, like, a platonic date right now, like, on a Friday night. This is so awkward. And he was, like, talking, talking, talking. And then I'm like, oh, my friend Cassidy, like, really needs me to meet her. And he, like, kind of mimicked me and was like, oh, like, Cassidy, how he said it wasn't a date. And I'm like, <laughs> Like, yeah, that is what's happening. And then he uh, was like, um, what did he do? He, and I'm like, fuck, this is actually really awkward. I can't believe this is happening. A pussy comes up to me. Hi, whoever you were, hello. If you are watching this, you're going to die. Because you. he comes up to me, this pussy is like telling me, like, I'm like, oh my God, hang on. Like, honestly, thank fucking God. Like, I can't do this anymore. I'm feeling so awkward. And he starts talking to me. He's like, I'm so sorry. I'm interrupting your date. And I'm like, oh, like, no, it's not a date. But, like, I couldn't say that. But, like, me and this guy had made eye contact. Like, fuck, this is so awkward. (sighs) Then the guy starts pitching to be the producer of my podcast live show. After he had told me he (laughs) didn't even want to date me. And then um, I called a car and I went home. No, sorry, I went out. But, yeah, so that's what, like, led up to my Valentine's Day mental breakdown if we're gonna be honest like that's the moral of the story is like if you pussies remember like I had a really big breakdown this Valentine's Day like it was because of this like I was like oh my god I'm so alone and like I'm suffering greatly as a reminder go to passthatpuss.com and click tell me what's wrong to tell me what's wrong and you can also click tell me what's wrong and send me your number and honestly maybe we can have a call about your problem if you put your number in at the end of a problem I would love to call you and talk about it okay I love you pussies Harry, Harry, we have Harry Jowsey in with us today. Yeah. Hello, Harry. Okay, I need to ask you a question. Oh my God. Okay. What does pass the puss mean? You okay? Do you want this the long pass story the or pussy. the short one? Well, it's on a podcast. Do the long story. Okay, so basically, I made an octopus account um, mm-hmm. my senior year of college called Pass That Puss, and okay, that's Pass That Puss. And then I tried to make that my <laughs> TikTok username, but um, they wouldn't let me. So I made Octopus Lover with two S's. 
Uh, okay, what what's that? <laughs> what's with octopuses? Um, have you ever had octopus? Have I eaten it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. But uh, did you watch like Octopus Lover no, on um, no, Netflix? No, no, Octo- no, 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 no. Because teacher. they are smart, those creatures, and I don't want to feel like I'm eating something with a brain. Wait, so it wasn't because you just. It wasn't because you had an octopus and you like loved it and it was like really cool. It was because you just love eating them. Yeah, it was sick. Grilled puss is my wow. favorite thing in the entire world. <laughs> Grilled puss is I'm great. dead dead ass. I love eating puss too. What? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what's disgusting, and I'm gonna be honest, raw puss. But I said I don't discriminate against puss. I'm serious. I, I love raw puss. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no. We're talking about a different things. I think a few I think different things. But <laughs> raw puss, it needs to have the proper texture. Of like salmon almost. Uh, no, that's the taste of salmon, the texture of like a little firmer sashimi, but I just find it disgusting. I only like grilled puss and I hate boiled puss. I've never met someone that loves puss enough to make it a thing. A whole brand. <laughs> it was my favorite thing. It was like what? if I had like an extra twenty dollars in my allowance, like I'd go get octopus. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's an expensive luxury. I, this is fucking crazy. I've never heard of someone loving octopus. It's that amazing. Much. It has a little bit of mercury in it, I think. So I try to like err on the side of like once a week, but I used to do it like four or five times a week. Wow. Like, do you like calamari? Is that just no? Too that's mainstream? Puss's cousin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're cousins. <laughs> oh my god. They only see each other at like family gatherings and stuff. So wow. I don't really have calamari all that often. Yeah, but like fuck that. sometimes calamari's in town and Puss isn't. AK, it's not on the menu and. <laughs> I'll have calamari. It needs a better name, like Kelly or something. Um, yeah. I almost did send that squid. Wow. Because it's a squid. Wow. But squids ink. They're messy. Ew. Yeah. yeah ew. I don't up. think puss do that. Clean up your act. I know. That's what I think. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Harry. Well, thank you. I need I just I was on the drive over here. I was like, I really want to know what it means. Like, I just it was yeah, it was throwing me that's off. That's what past that puss is. Had I what? known you had such an interest in this, I would have ordered puss for us. <laughs> Well, you know what? We always have next time. We do. Yeah, oh, we my do. God. Um, yeah, I need to take... Well, have you had... Last question. Have you had any puss in LA that's your favorite? Because I'll tell you my favorite. No, I uh, I think in Australia it was the last time I had puss. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was by Is the Is it ocean. good there? It's always good. How's the seafood there? The best. We got a lot of sea mm-hmm. and a lot of food. It was mm-hmm. great. It's really What nice. is Australia, like, known for food-wise? More like brunches and stuff, I think. Because, like, everyone's up early, everyone's by the beach, everyone goes get a coffee, and we're really good at coffee. What time do you wake up in Australia? Uh, like, six. <gasps> five or six. You actually? Yeah, because, like, the birds are so fucking loud. Where I live on a farm, so, like, we'll wake up. Like, you can't really not wake up because they're so loud and they're just yelling at you. So, you're like, all right, we'll get up. And then what time do you go to bed, usually? Probably, like, eight, nine. What a life. What, do you, what time do you go to bed? Last night I went to bed at two. What? What are you doing? I was finishing my Netflix show. Which was Griselda? No, oh. I saw your story, and I'm going to watch that next. You have to watch it. Is it, it. good? It's actually insane. Like, I love Sofia Vergara. She is the most incredible actress. Like, that was wild. I was watching that. There were so many twists and turns. And then I was, like, Googling it because I'm like, there's no way this is real. It's real. It's fucking crazy. Well, was she, like, a Coke kingpin? Pretty much. And then it, I'm not going to spoil it, but okay. some other shit happens, and she's just, like, a goddess and I'm like, you know, I might start flipping drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like straight to my publicist. Though. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to watch it next. I was watching this show called The OA. Um, OA? It was canceled after two seasons. Oh. So I don't really know what ended up happening, but Uh-oh. it was really good. And that's what you were watching last night? Yeah, I finished it. Have you seen Married at First Sight? No. It's a really big Australian show. If you want to get addicted to a reality show, you should watch that one. Because I got Alison Hannigan hooked on it. Uh-huh. And she, like, will text me, like, a description of each episode. And I'm like, it's... These people get married at first sight. Do you, like, win money or something? What's the point of this? No, it's just, like, people like myself who are hopeless at love and just want to go on a reality dating show. And they do that. But the issue was when they did it in New Zealand, the people actually got married and they had to get a divorce. And, like, people, like, lost half their shit. (laughs) Wait. So they canceled it there. But does that not happen in Australia? No, it's, like, fake. It's a fake wedding. Got it. But then people's like, why I sleep with other people? <gasps> and then they will meet up at the dinner and like, you fuck Josh, blah, blah, blah. And it just like goes down. It's I crazy. once saw the craziest reality show. It was, I forget. I wonder if it, this was real actually or a dream I had. <laughs> no, it must be real. <laughs> it, the, the premise was, it was these people and it was like, they would show you like, they would like stay in different houses and then like, 
they would create these scenes out of AI and like show this person's partner and it was like them making out with someone I've else. I've heard about this. this yeah, is a real show. it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is a real show. Yeah, yeah I really so it wasn't it. a dream. No, no, but it I would be a good dream though. Really? It'd be a crazy dream if your brain could think of like AI stuff. I guess. <laughs> oh, AI. Shout out AI. Do you ever use AI for anything? <laughs> yes. Um, I use a Snapchat AI. <laughs> Just to talk? Yeah. I'm like, hey, what's My friend Peyton does that. Really? She chit-chats with that. It's fun. I was, like, asking it, like, about, like, how many calories should I have in a day? And just stuff It like answers? That. Yeah, yeah. Because I was talking to one of my friends um, about, like, how easy it is to just, like, make a meal plan and stuff. I'm like, look, I'll show you. Like, you just ask it how many calories I ha- should have throughout the day and then what I should eat. And it would, like, give you a whole plan. Because then you don't have to spend money on a sausage nutritionist. Well, even though they're probably really good. Well, no, don't. I I I don't think they're all that good sometimes. <laughs> actually. Yeah, do you use it? A nutritionist? No, uh, AI. <laughs> um nutritionist, I should. <laughs> AI, no. no. AI I use ChatGBT sometimes mm. just to like see what's up. It feels almost like um Omegle for me. <laughs> just in that type of like weird what? corner of the internet that like I shouldn't be on. Yeah, I feel naughty when I'm on it. Yeah, I feel naughty. I'm like, what are you wearing? And I feel like it like knows my address <laughs> and it's yeah. gonna like come what? take me. Oh. <laughs> like I don't really know. But so I don't use AI that much. But I've been meaning to ask you. Oh shit. I start off my podcast with well, I've actually this is the second time I'm doing this. So okay. oh my God. Um <laughs> called thera- it's a segment called Therapist. And is there anything that pissed you off this week just so we can like air it out now? Oh, what's something that really pissed me off? Damn, there was so much stuff. Oh, love. Um, what's it? What? What is? What does the last person say? What did they say? What's something that pissed them off? What is something? I think what it pissed was, you off this week? Actually, what, okay. Let's, because I got um, a few. I had the most manic day ever yesterday. What pissed me off yesterday? What pisses me off is when I have a lack of urgency, or no, no, sorry, when I have a sense of urgency oh, and this. someone else has a lack of it. Oh, it drives me fucking crazy. I literally want to wring their neck. Yeah. Like, I imagine doing bad things. You know what place has the worst sense of urgency? And I'm really sorry if you have a brand deal with this place, and I've done a brand deal with them once before. Uh-oh. Really? I'll bleep it out. They take... Forever? It is like they are... I could... Walk to Arizona and back, and my is still waiting to be. (laughs) Not to be a cunt, but like I'm in line and I'm like, is there not a more effective situation for what's going on? It is out the fucking door and down the block. It's not that good. It's not good enough for that. Uh, Yeah, I've never been there, I don't think. You've never been there? I don't think so. Well, I'm not selling it. Okay. um, Yeah, I'm never going to go. I think my something that pissed me off this week, even on the way here, is like when people on their phones that are, when it's, when the light is red. And then it goes green and they're Ooh. sitting there. Like, I feel like, like we've all done it, but I feel like such a bitch when I honk. I'm like, why am I being so Oh, pissy? you shouldn't feel bad for something you have to do. Yeah, but I'm like, just just look up. Or put yeah, your phone I up here that. so you can see that it goes green. You know I don't drive. Crazy. You don't drive? No. Why not? Um, I because crash. of that reason? Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I'd hurt someone. <laughs> yeah. Like, I really and truly would. Um, well, that's I'd a good reason. I've driven a drive. car once around a parking lot about a few months ago. mm mm-hmm. I just in Australia, do you drive on the opposite side of the road? We do, and they're very strict about phones. Like it's crazy. Like you can well, lose your license. That's why Australia is, seems to be better. Yeah, um, no, but they have like cameras that look into your car. So if your phone is like anywhere near you, that feels invasive. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Yeah, they'll like they'll just ping you. Right and away. then what happens? You lose points or lose your license. <gasps> what it's was like Australia serious. like during COVID? Were you there? No, I wasn't. But I know it was. Um, I know they were pretty serious about it. Right. A little bit more serious than, than America. Than America, for sure. Yeah, but I know New Zealand, like, they fully just, like, closed down all the airports and everything like that, so everyone could just be, like, free and whatever else. But there was one security guard at, um, like, when they finally opened things up again, there was, like, planes coming in at the quarantine for, like, two weeks. There was one security guard at the quarantine hotel who ended up sleeping with someone and got COVID <gasps> and then brought it back to his family and his family. So I, then everyone got COVID. Yeah. The kids went to school. The kids got COVID. They gave the kids to school. And because he had an affair. Yeah. And so now the whole country knows that he cheated. That's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. That sounds way more fun than our COVID. Well, I, it's probably not fun for him. <laughs> yeah. But it's fun to. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of drama. Com- yeah. Wait. So <laughs> do you remember, actually this brings up a question I've been asking my friends recently. Do you remember where you were? Do you remember what was the day? March 13th. What was it? 15th. Oh my god! You wow, really you remember. remember what happened for you? <laughs> I was in high school. What? Isn't that crazy? What really? 
He's 20. Wow. Isn't that wild? Damn. Yeah. I <laughs> was at my internship, and then I went to Kazunori. Wait, what, what's March 15? Why is that so important? Because it's the day everything, like, shut down. Oh, okay. I was at my internship, yeah. and everyone was washing their hands a little more than usual. And then my friends picked me up, and they were like, oh, my God, the NFL just shut down their season. Do you want to get Kazunori? And I said, wow. yes. Damn. And then I realized I had to cancel my spring break. Oh, so damn it. I know. Um, I, yeah, it fucking sucked. I flew home to New York, gloves, mask, and all, <laughs> and sat my fat ass in my room for three months. Wow. Yeah. I think I was just in my apartment in Hollywood with my friends just watching Animal Planet. Oh, fuck. Because we didn't really do anything. Like, because my show hadn't come out. W- right. Wasn't oh, really and you filmed prior. Yeah. So right. we filmed, like, w- that we were just waiting for Tour to Handle co- to come out. And I didn't really have any friends or to do anything. So we just, like, stay in the building and, like, work out. And then, it, like, they're like, oh, yeah, no one can leave. So we're like, okay, well, we're not doing anything anyway. Fuck. And then we just sit there and watch I feel like you it. had fun in COVID. It was a crazy time. It was because my life was changing, like, yeah. in front of me. And I'm, like... Of this, course. This is wild. What a weird time for your life to change when you can't leave the house. It was so strange because I'm like, my phone is going crazy. Everyone wants to be my friend. And then my friends is just like, you should just chill out. Because you, know, you like, can't cool. leave the house. Yeah, you can't do anything. Damn, that's yeah. crazy, it actually. It was a crazy time. <sighs> COVID, COVID, COVID. Shout out, COVID. Yeah, honestly. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, what can we do about it now? Seriously. <laughs> yeah. You're fine about it? <laughs> Okay, well, let's get into the tell me what's wrongs. Do you know the, what uh, the tell me what's wrongs uh, are? No. Okay, well, brief description. Okay. So the pussies, shout out you guys. The pussies. Yes. Oh, my God. Do you want to give them a hi, pussies? Hi, pussies. Hi, hi pussies. <laughs> yes. We're here. Holy shit. Hi, pussies. Thank you so much for submitting the tell me what's wrongs. They submit the tell me what's wrongs, okay. and they basically just <laughs> tell me what's wrong, and we wow. t- we tell them what we think they should do, and oh, then we like cool. I love maybe this. prescribe them a remedy. Prescri- so like yours would be like- You're so good at branding. Listen to this. Thank you. You've got so many words. I mean, puss works with a lot. Yeah, it does. It's a great like word. Like, for example, this is, sorry. Is this Sandra. your merch? No, this oh. is Pissandra. <laughs> yes, this is. <laughs> this is Pissandra. Who's this one? I don't have a name for her yet. Actually, pussies, you guys can name her. <laughs> that, you can name that puss. Oh, that's probably Therapus, honestly. But you guys can name her if you guys come up with something better. We'll <laughs> Holy shit. And then I have, oh. um, okay, so this is Pissandra. I'll, yeah. I'll introduce you to all my puss after this, but then I have... Penelopus, who was my first one, and she has a broken tentacle. And then I have Puss Sheeran, because I have a ginger puss. And then I have Holy shit. ETP, extraterrestrial puss, because it like, looks like an alien. Then I have Blow Puss, because it has dick-sucking lips. Wow. And then I have, um, I have two Blow Puss, actually. Wow. And then I have, um, God, what are the other names? Pissandra, Penelopus, Blow Puss, Puss Sheeran, ETP. Oh, I have bougie puss because I have a puss that's like expensive. <laughs> um, what? And then I have. I wish I love something as much as you love pusses. I know they really, and I wrap their tentacles around me as I go to bed. Wow, is your bed? If a big I'm puss? lucky, I'll choke and die in the middle of the night. Whoa! <laughs> if I'm lucky. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. I'm okay. Just honest. I'm here for the honesty. Wow, and you got cards. Look how professional you are. I know. So good. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Wow, you're so professional. Okay, do it. <sighs> okay, are you ready? Tell me what's wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Sorry, pussies. <laughs> Whoa. Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> My best friend introduced me to her guy best friend of many years, and we really hit it off. Okay, girl. I've since noticed the way she looks at him and that she's always all over him. Ooh. Oh. And clearly wants to be with him, but every time I ask her about it, she denies it. He's the first guy I've liked in a long time, but I don't want to lose my best friend. It feels like your best friend was introing you to him as a test. Really? Yes. Yes. No. I, no? I think it's more like, you know, sometimes you don't want someone until someone else like is attracted to them. Oh, that's a, such a nice positive outlook, but I don't think that. Continue. No, but <laughs> no, but I feel like she introduced you and then she's like, oh, you know, I've never had any like interest in him. And then she sees that you're interested and she's like, oh, maybe... Maybe I don't want to let this like slip by. And she's like, I don't want you to be happy. I want him. Can I give you my read on it? Okay. Go for I it. think this girl has always been in love with this best best guy friend. Mm. And she almost and he isn't interested in her. And she's almost introducing him to her other girlfriend 
in the deranged hopes that he also wouldn't be into her. Mm. But, like, he is. So now she feels like she's losing. Like, it gave her almost this sense of control over the relationship. Yeah. Like, I'm best friends with her and best friends with him. So, like, you guys can't ever do anything. But, like, Mm. I kind of know you want to. And it's, like, giving me weird control. What would you do? Um, I'd probably suck it up and be like, fuck, um, this sucks. But my, honestly, I would be transparent. And I honestly, I think I would be like, cause this, okay, let me tell you, I'm reading between the lines here. Uh And this girl obviously (laughs) knows her friend likes this guy for a while and like, doesn't Uh want to admit it. And he obviously isn't into her, but obviously is into this girl. And I think if I was her, I would ask the friend and then if the friend was like no I wouldn't be bad I'd be like no you would be mad and I know you'd be mad so can you just admit it so I don't have to do it because I will do it Mm. if you like you know what I mean yeah I think also like um I think at the end of the day if she doesn't really like if she's a real friend yeah want you to be happy and want your her best friend to be happy. Boys are so go, simple. Go have fun. You are so simple. But like, that is not true. No, but <laughs> yeah, go have fun. Hook up with him. It's give him a kiss. You, and then be the like the power men have over people sometimes. You have no idea. This girl could be the best friend in the entire world. And soon as a dick e- gets in the way. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. So go fuck him. And then be like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. It wasn't that good anyway. You're not missing out on much. And then fall in love with him. Okay. So you prescribe eating his ass. <laughs> All of it. Suck okay. his toes. Like, do the whole shebang. Uh, I Make prescribe. <laughs> what am I going to prescribe? Because what am I, like, I'm trying to think of my <laughs> TV show reference that I'm okay. calling out here. And I, I know I am. Oh, my God. I'm going to prescribe Mean Girls because mm. Regina George is so fine with Katie Heron being with Aaron Samuels. Mm. But she's not really. She's not. She's not. She wants the control. Yeah. My best friend has genital herpes and doesn't tell the guy she fucks. That's illegal. <laughs> That's illegal. That's, yeah. What do I do? She sometimes fucks guys I know. <gasps> oh. Okay. Post a story. You would post a story? No, I just think that's that's illegal. Right? They should know. That's illegal. I would, I would, here's what I would do. I'd go to my girl and I'd say, girl, I'm sorry about your GH, genital herpes. <laughs> And I'm very sorry about it. And I can't even imagine how bad that hurts. I can't even imagine what that feels like. All the bumps. You need to keep it real and tell the people you're fucking. Or I will have to take action and tell at least my guy friends. Because it's also going to start to affect other women. Because these guys just aren't affecting you. Aren't fucking you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the ripple effect that, you know, GH could have. Yeah. Kind of crazy. (sighs) But yeah, I would I would have to bring it up to her. And be like, yo, you're doing the wrong thing. Like, maybe you don't want people to know your business, but you fuck enough guys, it's gonna get around. And just then be like, it's know. illegal. Like, they can like actually sue you and take you to jail for that. Yeah, and if you're the guy, sue her. Cause like I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Yeah, you uh, would. Everyone, you? let's sue for sure. Are you crazy? Okay, so I'm gonna prescribe. <laughs> Are you mess? Are you doing a facial? What are you I'm doing? massaging the part of my brain that thinks of prescriptions. Oh, I'm gonna prescribe. <laughs> God, maybe an STD check for you too. Mm. Maybe this is a wake-up call that everyone needs to get tested for STDs. Oh, I got a good one. I would prescribe. There is the STD text reminders that come from anonymous number. I would go and send, if you don't want to get involved, because it is a lot of weight on your shoulders, Yeah, I would get one of those and I would send it to all the guys that you know she's been with and then also send it to her as a gentle reminder. If nothing comes from it, then you start a conversation of, hey, you need to you need to shut up shop a little bit. Right, okay. Or, I think that's a wrap great, that's a really logical prescription. Yeah, like, because that's serious. Like, people, you right, know, no. if babies come out, you know, they got problems, like. No, that's bad. There's yeah. a lot of stuff that goes on. I actually thought of a really good prescription as you were talking about your prescription. Um, <laughs> season one, episode three of Girls, where Hannah finds out she has HPV. It's a great episode because hannah really tells everyone she has hpv and she really overshares and mm. honestly you should show that to your friend because maybe she should start oversharing a bit <laughs> um there's a guy on tiktok live that it always that i always see him on my for you page he says i have herpes ask me questions i'm like Bro. does he have herpes i i think so you seen him I literally just saw that yeah he's like always you saw him as well he's always on live like talking about herpes i'm like you know what be more like that guy. A lot of people have herpes. A lot of, a lot of people yeah. have herpes. You know, everyone has HPV. What's that? Human papillomavirus. Papillomavirus. 
Human papillomavirus. <laughs> Human papillomavirus. No, it's a thing. Like you get. Uh, I've you know, heard of this. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a thing. Um, all adventurous women do. Wow. Get in, but that's the tagline in girls. Have you seen girls? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the best. Wow. You should watch season one, episode three of Girls, just because it's one of the best episodes of television ever. Well, yeah, I love your references. It's really good. Thank you. So all I do is watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's breath smells like ass, <laughs> and no one in my family knows how to tell him. What ideas for you to have? <sighs> Sorry. What ideas do you have to help me tell him delicately? Just get, just always have a pack of gum ready. No, I would. That's not delicate. I would be like, "Are you trying to tell me I have bad breath?" No, I'd be like, "Oh my god, look at this! This is so yummy! You should have one of these." And yeah, it helps. Or just okay. Or just put like little bottles of, like Listerine around the house. Like, who's putting these here? Someone's got a stinky breath. That's crazy. I you think do a little sweet. I think the the most delicate way to tell him is to have like the mom. Or the dad tell the other dad your breath stinks. Mm. Not that the kids notice it, because then he'll feel like shit if he knows the kids notice it. But be like, your breath smells so bad. Like, fix it before the kids notice it. Just like lie to him. Yeah, I feel like if it was my dad, I'd just be like, Dad, your shit stinks, bro. Go fucking eat a toothbrush. Oh, I don't know if I would say that. I would feel so uncomfortable. Really? Like, me and my dad are cool. Being told you have bad breath is one. I in my, Mm. I think it is so much worse than being told you smell bad. Yeah. That's like your oh. soul escaping from your body. There's this is one breath. There's one influencer girl. Whenever uh-huh. I'd be out, I'd always see her. And she would like talk to you that <gasps> close. Worst breath. And she had veneers. And so a lot of people with veneers have like the stinkiest breath. And it would always be like you try and like move your head away from her. And she would like be like a heat seeking missile. Just like right there. And like, dude, fucking stinks. I would always have gum. Like, oh my God, like, let's try this. Like, and is she known for this? She's known. Like every guy, every girl that is friends with her knows this. Like, yeah. Like, if she's ever drunk, like, stay away from her because she's just going to talk your fucking face off. <laughs> oh, my and God, that's so it literally, it's so It's so stinky. Like, I feel like my skin would be peeling from, like, how, like, gross it would be. Like you it, can't be like, get out of my face? Well, I don't want to be, like, rude, but I'm like, hey, gum. You got a PYP, girl. Protect your peace. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> if someone was speaking to me and they had bad breath, I'd find a way out of I'd that I'd be like, let's have another shot. Like, let's do something. Let's no, leave. Let's, let's stop talking. I need- <laughs> Is what let's is what we should do. <laughs> let's go get a toothbrush. And I'm so like intense about my breath. Mm. I mean, I hope God, if my friends are watching this and think I have bad breath, let me know. Because one time when I got my wisdom teeth out, um, I came back to school, my breath smelled really bad, and my oh. friend had to tell me. Oh, that's tough. And that moment, like I remember where I was standing. I mm. remember trauma. Almost what I was talking about. I think oh. I was 14 years old. Wow. And so that's why you just have to tell the person because if I went, thank God she told me. Clara, if you're watching this, thank God you told me that Shout I have bad Clara. breath. Shout out, Clara. Because if I went about mm. my day with that breath, I would have killed myself. <laughs> my God. So I prescribe <laughs> for your dad is your mom should tell him he has bad breath and then I also prescribe like a bottle of Listerine or something. I think you should do like one of those like criminal notes where they cut out letters from different magazine things and put on a piece of paper like dad has stinky breath so then they don't know where it come from and then just leave it in his bed yeah then who knows he'd be like oh shit he'd be like which one of you did this yeah with his breath stinking Ugh. still because he'd be so angry Ew. you angry, have to tell breath. him oh i also prescribed the song delicate by taylor swift since you w- said you wanted to tell him delicately <laughs> his reputation's never been worse but you like him for him because he's your dad <laughs> I matched with a guy on Tinder and hung... Oh, this one is so long. Let me just see if the next one's shorter because, like, I don't know if I have the brain capacity right now. Do you want me to read one? Okay. Is that gonna... Oh, my God. Wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is long. I matched with a guy on Tinder and hung out the night. Went over to his house and we talked for hours, but also both agreed we were not looking for a relationship. I lied. We started hanging out every day and I began to have feelings and then he proceeded... To say that he likes me and changed his mind about not wanting a relationship. Aww. I go out to the bar last weekend and I got drunk. And he was there and would not talk to me because <gasps> I was drunk and told me that I am pushing it. Ew, what? We've been talking for two months now and ever since last weekend, he's been distant and suspicious. Send help. Um, He sounds like a fucking freak. Yeah, he, that's a red flag. That's a really we- yeah. red flag. I hate when guys are weird about girls drinking. I think it's gross. Yeah, just like let her have fun. Yeah, that's weird. It's, he's obviously like... That's a, the, I think that's one of the biggest red flags ever. But also, that's what he's being weird about. If he's at a bar as well, like, what are you doing at a bar? Like, everyone's drinking and having fun. Like, 
well, he's, I don't know. That's well, He's probably got stinky breath. I, yeah, he probably does have stinky breath. Yeah. God, I don't know. I don't have much to say at, at that one besides I prescribe yeah. maybe cut things off. Yeah, I prescribe fuck his best friend. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I love your prescriptions, Harry. <laughs> this one is nothing's wrong, but can you call me? Okay. What? Mm. You actually call people? I don't know. She's asking me to call her. Actually, I thought this was like a prank. I'm like, she's, he's no. got to call my ex or something. No, no, no. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hi, this is Jake. I got your tummy. What's wrong? Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. This is Jake. I got your tummy. What's wrong? No, you're, you're lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, you're lying. What's I have to walk outside. I'm at work. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. No, 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 no. You're kidding me. Wait, I'm dead ass. What's, what's her name? What's her wait, name? I'm here. I'm sitting here with Harry Jowsey. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> I'm, 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 no, no, I know you're lying. Can no, you I'm not. Jowsy? Yes, come here. He's the one who's on Dancing with the Stars. Well, oh I wasn't, because I wasn't very good at dancing, but hello, what's your name? This is crazy. My name's Callie. Oh, my God. Hi, uh, Callie. Hi, Callie. I'm, like, so deep in my workflow right now. This just made my day. Like, Aww. I truly am in shock now. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm Wait, of course. Do you have anything you want to talk about? On You're on the podcast, if that's okay. No, this is crazy. I, do, I have no idea what to say right now. Like, I didn't even think this would happen. Wait, it, but it, that, it did. We're here. It did. We love you. Okay. Okay, wait. Let me let me walk outside the office. Okay, girl. Second. Walk outside the office. Yeah, get out of Am that I place. Am I allowed to do that? Okay. Quit your job. Oh, Harry says quit your job. <laughs> I just got a great new job, so this is Oh, like, oh quit it. it. Yay. <laughs> Wait, I just want to say, can I say something to you really quick? Do it. I think you are the funniest person on the internet. Like, genuinely, you make me so happy. Like, me and my friends adore you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so happy. I really appreciate that. I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you're amazing. I hope to meet you one day. And Wait. Thank you for actually oh, calling so me. I wish I had something fun to say. Why Wait, this, this is so, so fun. Crazy. Don't worry. Have the best day at work. Okay, um, thank you. I'm going to text you from this number for your address. Adore. It's not a scam. I want to send you a nimming crew neck. So text me the nim oh you want. God. And oh I will. Um, but yeah, oh, Callie, so you are the best. Have the best day at your new job. Yes. We, love, we you, love you, Callie. I love you too. Have the best day. I appreciate you. Of course. Bye. Oh, that was so lovely. Yes, you guys. I love that call in. Callie. That was, that was really sweet. You know what? That was so fun. That was so sweet. That was really nice. Yeah, wasn't that nice? So cute. What a little gem. Yeah, I know. She's at her new job, like, low-key killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Kelly. I've noticed, for th- I've noticed for three weeks <laughs> now that I've been missing underwear. Uh-oh. I found a stash hidden in my roommate's room. What, sh- <laughs> what should I do? I'm freaking out. Well, do they have any skitties on them? Uh, no, but, like, her roommate's, like, stashing and sniffing her underwear. That's bizarre. No, but maybe she's wearing them. Like, is there, if there's any, like, poop marks, I would probably throw them out. No, or do you think you're sniffing them? No, I'm like Cause I'm appalled like, that you. Th- oh, co- you think her roommate's taking it just to like just to look wear sexy, it? like run around the house, like undies on her. No, head. I think her roommate's taking it because she's obsessed with this girl or guy and wants mm. to wear their underwear. Yeah, I would put um, I put like ant poison or something in one pair and then see what happens. That's what you would do. I would be like, why the fuck are you stealing my <laughs> underwear? You freak. Oh, I would rob them back. I would start a war. Like, start taking their shoes. Okay, you know what I'm going to prescribe? And this is actually the shoelaces. third time I'm prescribing this same prescription. God, I feel like I'm um, an SSRI salesman. But <laughs> this is the same prescription I am going to prescribe again. The roommate with Leighton Meester. Because her roommate is so obsessed with her that she kills her. So I would say something now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't want to die. No. That'd be horrible. Yeah, or just, like, yeah, glue the shoes to the ground or, like, steal the shoelaces or something. So you want to do, like, a prank war? Yeah, like, let's not make it weird. Let's make it fun now. But it is weird. She stole her underwear. I would cut holes in every shirt, like, little nipple holes. Yeah, they did that in Mean Girls, and it worked out in Regina George's favor. There we go. I actually am going to also prescribe, what's a thing about a creepy roommate besides the roommate? Ah, I don't know. Put rats in her room. You rats? <laughs> I think that would affect her too, though. They're roommates. Yeah. That's Wait, true. that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that okay, I'm going to give you real advice right now. What yeah. I would do is I'd, okay, like 
to me, that's just an immediate move out situation. And like, obviously, yeah. your roommate is fucking dangerous. She's stealing your underwear. This is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Stay at your friends, pack your shit up, and text her and be like, I moved out. I found you stealing my underwear. I've never been more weirded out in my entire life. If you don't have an actual explanation for this, like, I don't know what to say, but I would also do it on the phone so that they can't make up an explanation and text it to you. Mm. And then if she actually stole your underwear, I would like maybe call the police. Yeah. That's very, I got nothing. Yeah, my idea is worse. Like, no, like, I mean, your idea was like a prank war, which is like fair. Yeah. Well, I'm a guy, so I don't really know what's going on. Like, If you're, okay, <laughs> then let me ask you. Let's say you share a room with this guy and you're yeah. like, where's all my underwear going? And then you found a stash mm. of your underwear hidden in your roommate's stuff. You're what would you do? Well, it's happened because my maid would just, like, put our stuff together. And then, like, if I have friends over, No, 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 else. but, like, a stash oh. of your underwear specifically. Like, this seems methodical. Like, they've been taking your underwear mm. on purpose slowly over time. I'd just buy more. Be like, enjoy those. It's on Ford. They're very expensive. So, like, whatever. Wear them out. Damn. Yeah. I'm I'd just, freak the fuck out. See, I would just be like, dude, it's all good. Just, like, don't come in my socks. <sighs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Am I crazy to say no, that I no. would freak the it, fuck out? It is weird. It is weird. But, like, I'm also, like, whatever. You're so positive. You <laughs> remind me of the angel I'm watching in my show, the OA. Really? The oh. original angel. Oh. Yeah, you're the you're the OA girl. Shout out, angel. I've been talking to this guy for <laughs> months, and we're finally going to go on a date, and then his house burned down, and IDK how to ask if he still wants to go out or not. Fuck, I relate, girl, because, like, damn. Wait, you dated someone with their house No, buddy? like, I relate <laughs> to that level of selfishness. Right. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, ah, like, uh, she was so excited about this date, and then his fucking house burned down. Well, it's also, like, he's, he should take his mind off it. You, well, do you think she should ask him about it? Like, I don't think she can. I just be like, yo, let's just, you want to come to my place? Because yours is on the ground and ashes yeah that's a <laughs> i mean that's a valid thing to say but i think yeah, but like do you need a place to stay let's go to a brazilian barbecue or something let's have fun Bra i haven't had brazilian barbecue in so long it's so good it's so good shout out brazil yeah oh my god, oh my god you just went how was that i fucking love brazil wait i want i've been meaning to ask how brazil was i remember i saw you before you I'm went i'm moving there you are i'm moving there how do they party hard it's just like everyone's just so happy and Dre like dressed in like bright colors and like everyone was just no one cared about anything it right was, it was just like so much fun the beaches were amazing there was so much fun activities the food was incredible it was so cheap like yeah i've never been happier like i got off the plane i'm like this is so much fun how long were you there for like five days Fuck, that looked really fun no, it was the best you were there ever. for carnival right no no it was just anita's like pre-carnival parties got it and we went with all her friends and everyone's just in the best mood and like everyone wants to just have fun and i was like this is Epic. Like, I, I loved it. Like but You were in Rio? Yeah. Like You go to a club here and like everyone's on their phones, like way too cool. You go there, people like twerking each other, like making out and like what? no one's got their phones out. And like even Markel like had girls twerking on him. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Wait, that sounds really fun. I was overwhelmed. I'm like, this is crazy. Wait, I kind of want to go to Brazil. No, if you want to go, I'll go. I'll go today. Really? I'll pack my bag. Okay, maybe we should plan a the trip to Brazil. Let's go. Everyone, all the pussies, come with us to Brazil. Oh my God. First of all, do I have any pussies listening from Brazil? <laughs> If I do, let me know. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm actually really curious if I have any people listening from Brazil. For, for sure. There's so many people. I don't there. know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get you some. Um, But let me just warn this girl. Okay. Because I totally get what you're thinking. You're like, Ugh! Like, his fucking house burned down and we were supposed to go on a date. Very normal reaction. I don't care what anyone says. You need to be careful who you talk about this with. Because mm. if you talk about it to your girls, they are going to be like, you are selfish and crazy, even if they would think the same thing. Because, like, that's just how people work. You need to just kind of internalize this and, like, take the L that his house burned down and, like, you might not go on this date. The episode, the, what I would prescribe to you is, I don't know the exact episode of Girls, but I'll I'll put it here once I figure it out. Hannah has a book deal and her book publisher dies. And the only thing she can think about at his funeral is if her book publishing deal is still on. It's a good question. It's a great question. Mm. But she asks the widow, oh, no. like, do you have any connects for me? Which is just uh. where she missteps. 
Yeah. And uh, and there's also another episode where Hannah finds out that he dies and all her friends are like, you're fucking weird. How is the only thing you're thinking about your book deal? While I understand why she's thinking about her book deal, yeah, um, yeah you should definitely maybe give it like a few weeks just to like let this guy get his things in order. And just until like the hype, not the hype, but like the news of his house burning down kind of like simmers out. The hype, no pun intended. The hype is so worse. But you know what I mean? Like, everyone's obviously talking about so-and-so's house just burned down. Yeah, true. But I, I would – okay, if, if my house burned down and I got nothing, I just got the shirt on my back, and a girl wants to take me on a date, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe I need that right now. No. See, that's why you're the – oh, you're the original angel because that's such a nice point of view. But anyone else would be like, you're fucking crazy. How are you asking me on a date right now when my house just burned down? And I think you just need to wait a few weeks till <laughs> it simmers down. Yeah. And – and then maybe you can approach, like, hey, remember when I was supposed to go on a date with so-and-so to your friends and, like, see what they say? And if they're like, oh, my God, yeah, you should totally ask him, like, ask him. But, like, your friends usually know best. And, like, right now they're going to tell you to shut the fuck up. And, like, you don't want word getting out that you're trying to go on a date with this guy after his house burned down. Oh, my God. I was doing <laughs> anal with the boy who got- <laughs> <laughs> I was doing anal with the boy who doesn't give me the time of day. Uh-oh. Suddenly, he screamed and jumped off the bed. <gasps> you can imagine where this leads. Wow. When I looked down, there was an entire edamame on the bed. I had sushi the night before. I haven't heard from him since. What do I do? An entire edamame? Yeah. What would you do if that happened to you? Well, I love edamame. No, Harry, what would you do if you were having anal and someone shit out an edamame? Just be like, hey, let's... Let's he won't speak to her anymore. Oh, he won't speak to her anymore? Yeah. Well, then maybe he's just not the one for you. Yeah. You haven't found your OA yet. You're Harry. Yeah, I think the thing is, is like, if he loved you, he, he would care about a little bit of poo at a mommy. You know? Yeah, that's just crazy. Just brush it under the bed. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, girl. I prescribe <laughs> I prescribe for you to find your Harry. Yeah. Because I that's you to really nice. <laughs> my sister is sleeping with my boyfriend behind my back, and I'm a gay man. <gasps> <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. How do I confront them? I don't what? know. That sounds messy as fuck. Wait, what? Threesome? My sister okay. is sleeping with my boyfriend behind my back, and I'm a gay man. How do I confront them? I would never speak to my sister again. Would you? Mm -mm. I don't even know what I would, like. How do you confront them? Well, first, you have, okay. Okay. Because what you're going to have to do... That's the biggest level of betrayal. It's the biggest. And so what she has to do is run a smear campaign. And in order to <laughs> run a smear campaign, you need to assemble your players correctly. You get proof that she's sleeping with him. Because right now, from what I'm hearing, he said, she said. You want the general public to side with you, right? You establish proof. So you gather your proof. <laughs> and then you confront, as I've always said, men... Uh, fold easier than women. Mm -hmm. You confront your boyfriend first, record the entire conversation, and then confront your sister, and then you handle the heartbreak because your relationship's over um, with your sister and your boyfriend, yeah. and you start to smear. Not your sister, but your boyfriend. Yeah, and call us so we can hear about it all. Yeah. Oh, my God. Call in. Yeah. <laughs> it, okay. Use then we can, we can front run the smear campaign. Yes. Yes. Use code word... Sister sleeping with my boyfriend and <laughs> drop your number and I'm going to give you a call in the next episode and I want to hear about if you confronted them. Is this actually real? Because like, that's, that's fucking crazy. That's fucked up. <sighs> but also like, w w what's up with the sister? Why did, like, what? Maybe call your parents. Be like, hey, oh, like yeah, I would definitely get the parents involved because the parents have to be on your side. If you smear too hard, they're not going to be on your side because they're going to feel like you're bullying your sister even though she did something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Oof. That's that crazy. was a mouthful. Wow, that gave, that gave me anxiety. I feel so bad for her. I know, I feel bad for her too. I prescribe, I guess I prescribe a smear campaign and I also prescribe... I'm pretty sure... I'm going to prescribe to you 90210 because Naomi has a really weird relationship with her sister and I'm pretty sure her sister like tries to fuck her man <laughs> all the time. And I would just watch 90210 <laughs> to see how their relationship plays out because I don't really remember how it does, but I remember it's not good. I don't know how you keep referencing all these shows. This is all incredible. I do is watch TV. This is incredible. All I do is watch wow. TV. Oh, so yeah, fuck, fuck, fuck his brother or dad or something. Yeah, get like, him back get somehow. Back, like something. I would, yeah, fuck his dad. Yeah. I had a crush on the guy that worked at my gym. I hit on him, and now we've been together for five months. Yay. Mm. 
And I just found out he actually works for the Secret Service. Him working for the gym was temporary because the hiring process is LAH, long as hell. He's my best friend and the kindest human ever. Also, the sex is mind blowing, but so is this information. How do I process all this, Jake? Fuck. That's um, so cool. That's so cool. The I think that's service? sick. Yeah, I don't know. Like you kill anyone. Like, I think she's maybe feeling weird because technically he like lied to her. Right, is the vibe I'm getting. But, like, that's for his job. And, like, yeah, at the to. end of the day, your career is never going to wake up and tell you they don't love you anymore, which is probably what's going through his head. Good. Yeah, Lady Gaga said it once. And it's probably going through his head. So I would just give him some grace on this because some people take their career re really seriously. Yeah. And it sounds mm -hmm. like if he's in the Secret Service, that's not something he can just freely admit all the time. Mm. So process it by being like, okay, well, he didn't not want to tell me on purpose. He didn't tell me because it's his job and he's good at his job. So if anything, I think that should be a beige flag because, yeah, he's a good liar, but he also cares about what he does. Yeah, and it could turn into like Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Like imagine, yeah, you could get involved. That would be... Yeah, oh. I've never seen that movie. Oh, it's so hot. Really? It's so sexy. With Brad Pitt and Angelina. Oh, my God. Yeah. Re it really? It just makes me want to just be in the middle of them. Yeah. Just watch it go down. I get that. What's your favorite movie of all time, actually? Oh, uh, it's probably a little bit controversial. Tropic Thunder. I think that was... People love I, Tropic Thunder. I love that movie. I've never seen it. Really? It's just so, like, it just it's just so... So far gone. Uh, yeah. Like it is Who's so in it? Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Um, who else? Jack Black, Ben Stiller. Jay Bichelle. Yeah. Damn, maybe it's, I'll... Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Like, it's nuts. And it's just, like, stuff that if it got released now... It wouldn't. It would... They All their careers are done. But the fact that it got released so long ago... Yeah. It just makes you, like... It just feels like a naughty laugh. Like, I shouldn't yeah. be laughing at this. Naughty laughs are the best. Yeah, we love a naughty laugh. What's your favorite TV show of all time? Of Griselda, I think. I just watched really? that. Really? Okay, was, well, besides Griselda. Okay. Uh, Breaking Bad was pretty good. I loved Breaking Bad. Yeah, it was really good. Best show ever. Yeah, what about you? My favorite TV show of all time. Um, have you ever seen the show Dark on Netflix? Uh -uh. It's amazing. It's really? German. Could you do subtitles or no? Yeah, I can. No, it doesn't sound like you hey. want to do that. Well, I just, my brain doesn't work that well, so I have to, like, read and okay. look at the photo. Yeah, like, I, get, I, get, I totally got that. I my, just watched that. My brother's dyslexic, so I, like, understand. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so is my mom. I'm not. I'm just really slow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. No, but I'm saying, like, I, I, two respect, brain I respect <laughs> the how brains process <laughs> things at different times. I, I actually I did watch that um, that Netflix one about the plane crash. Do you see that one? Oh, MH7, that one? No, 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 no. What's it? It's, um... Society of Oh, Stone. I've been meaning to watch that. How was that? Insane. And then watch the making of it. But and did you do that with subtitles? Yeah. Then but you it, can do dark. But I had to like pause every five minutes and be like, okay, that's what they said. Right, yeah, I got that. But it was so intense. And do you not like it dubbed? I personally don't like it no, dubbed. Yeah, I can't dub do it dubbed. Dark is one of my favorite shows I've ever seen. My second favorite show I've ever seen ever is Girls on HBO. What's that? <gasps> Girl. Girl. It is about. <laughs> so do you know who Lena Dunham is? No, if you show me a photo, I'm terrible with names. No, 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 I, I understand. She um, is a writer and an actress, and she created the show called Girls, and it's about four millennial women living in Brooklyn in, like, the early, early 2010s, late wow. 2000s, and it really is... I, I've personally never laughed so hard at a show in my entire life. Wow. And, yeah, it's pro it's pro it's. Yeah, it's right now. I would say that's my favorite show of all time. Damn, I'm gonna watch it. It's a. If you watch Girls, you have to tell me. Okay, that is my favorite show of all time, <laughs> and yeah. I already prescribed two episodes of Girls in this episode of Therapist. <laughs> no, like seriously, it's the best show of all time. Have you seen Girls? What's what? your favorite episode? Panic, <laughs> Panic in Central Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how he's naming the episodes. Like, what else is a good one? Oh, Goodbye Tour. I cried. Oh. That is the best episode <laughs> ever. Ever. When they're singing Maroon 5 in the car and Adam hits it and hits it. You need to watch Girls. Yeah. You must watch Girls. I'm going to end this and watch Girls after we're done. <laughs> it's seriously the best show of all time. Like, I actually, like, if you want to put one thing on my tombstone, it's like, you should watch Girls. Dash oh Like, seriously? It's they should the pay you for this. No, they don't need to. I'm so blessed by the creative genius that that show has brought that I I don't even care. Like, that is the best show I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I love girls. I spent my entire winter break watching it, and it made me really just, oh, my God. It's it's amazing. Wow. It's amazing. Shout out girls. Shout out girls. Wow. <sighs>
Damn, you're fired up now. Yeah, wow. <laughs> just started my job, and one of my male coworkers just sniffed me. Ooh, what? that might be assault. So I would definitely <laughs> handle that with HR. What? And that's as far as I'm going to get with that one, but I would definitely <laughs> take that to HR if he's sniffing you. That's weird. <laughs> what? Sniff him back. Make it weirder. Okay. This is the final one. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. My dad stabbed my boyfriend because he cheated on me. Now I need to testify in court and don't know what to wear or who to defend. My boyfriend was an asshole, but he didn't deserve that. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, and I understand there is nothing like a father's love for his daughter, but that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. He should not be stabbed. Is him. there any more information? Why did they stab? Because like he cheated on her, oh. and then her dad stabbed him. So now she's in court, and she doesn't know what to wear. Well, you better look good, girl. Yeah, Come well, on. She needs to look good. So the, the boyfriend cheated, the dad stabbed. Yeah. Sounds like a good dad. It sounds like I would... Ha she has to testify in court, and I'm so sorry that you have to do that because that is... Yeah. So that must be so difficult because she is still seemingly really into her boyfriend. But at the end of the day, he did... Actually, yeah. you know what? This is a, There's more stab layers to this. Stab him as well. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> well. He, Let's he, all stab him. He cheated, he cheated on her. Yeah. So he obviously doesn't care for you. Yeah. Your dad's going to care for you forever. And, like, yeah, he stabbed him. And, like, he definitely shouldn't have done that. And, like. For sure. Right? Could have just hit him with his car. But, like, I wouldn't, like, defend your boyfriend too hard in court because he did cheat on you. Well, if you're in court, just tell the truth. But just, yeah. Just don't lie yeah. under oath. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Do you think people lie under oath, like, all the time? For sure. I definitely would. Really? Yeah. You think? No. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I just hope I never go to court. <laughs> it's scary, huh? Yeah, have you been? No. Well, I think I went for like a class field trip once. Oh, oh, that's cool. What it was wasn't. That? No? Actually, it was super depressing. I was like, why am I here? Yeah. So I want to do that jury duty. I feel like that, like the oh show, my God. the TV show. I, feel like that's I the time got I called go in for jury duty last year. And do you know when you get called in for jury duty, you have to call every single day of the week for like two weeks to make sure that they don't actually need you to come in. Huh? It is what? Hell on earth. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Cancel that. Cancel. Jury duty needs to be canceled. Yeah, I feel like if Hashtag yeah, uh, I guess jury. it's a conflict of interest if you start paying people to do jury duty. It just seems like the most reasonable thing to do. But I would definitely yeah. prescribe, oh my god. You just gave the best prescription. I would prescribe jury duty. Just try to bring some lightheartedness to the situation and I would prescribe a really cute outfit considering you yeah. also don't know what to wear. Yeah, exactly. That's what and I would prescribe Maybe like an episode of Law and Order, mm. just so you can also see court on the more serious side yeah, of things. Is Suits about law stuff as well? You know, I've never, I've seen past one episode of Suits. Yeah, just watch some law shows so you yeah. feel like you know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Well, Harry, what did we learn today, do you think, in our session? Um, that your puss names are incredible. Thank you. Uh, you hear that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that you give great advice and someone got stabbed and they got a court. It's crazy. There's so much stuff that went on today. I think my key takeaway from today is that it's hard to be put in the middle of two crazy people. Mm. And I think that's what I'm taking away from the last question. And I'm feeling a lot of sympathy. And my second takeaway is I would love to call more of you pussies. So if you send in some more call requests, like I will definitely be calling you during the show because that was so fun. Callie, I fucking love you. Good luck at your new job. You're going to fucking kill it. And I want to <laughs> send you Nimming March. Harry, thank you so... Wait. Uh. What do we got? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, your session's up, you guys. Harry, thank you so much oh, <laughs> for being here and coming. And a little fun fact before Harry leaves, I also have those shoes. Show yeah. off your shoes. I have those shoes, too, and I wish I wore them today so we could have been twinning, but could, I didn't. Could have been 20 puss. Harry, thank you. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you I so love much. you, pussies. Love tense you pussies. up. Hi, pussies. Put your tense up. Put your tense up. Tense up.